the crowds were amazing. In the Grand Parade, I rode around in a, a red sports car. It just made one feel like you were royal. I was brought up with, you're not in that class. To come and actually win the showgirl proved that I was in a class. I probably learnt about the Miss Sunshine Girls when I was at school because we always met some of the young girls who'd been in it the year before. Well, I rode horses, so I was always at the Mansfield Show. And one year I saw the girls walking by and I went, thought, I can do that. So I did it the following year and won it. I was asked to go in the showgirl competition at Yarrawonga. Won a couple of bells of ball in the town and they might have thought, oh, she's the one to ask. My parents, my family were very, very involved in the show, in exhibiting. And so the show has really in our blood. I was 19, yeah. It was a, a sort of an on the day decision to enter. At the time I was doing a bit of modelling and it was just another part of that really. Back in 1965, the stalls, John Sunshine Girl, was very popular. Most shows had three or four different age groups. Well, I was competing against all my school girlfriends. There was 10 of us and we were just paraded on a track. We had a huge rickety truck to walk on. All the crowd was all around us. It was quite amazing. So that was a bit, a bit scary, actually. I wore a, an outfit that I'd made myself, um, a navy suit, and I had white accessories. I had on a brown wool suit and a beige blouse with ruffles down the front. The experience of coming out here um, and going through those gates was just incredible because it was like coming into another world. I'd never been to the Melbourne showgrounds ever because we didn't have money to come down to Melbourne. I had ridden at the Melbourne show the year before, so I knew the showgrounds, but a lot of the girls didn't know the showgrounds. Oh, I suppose I was a bit in awe of it all. But we did come out to the show a couple of days before and I met some of the girls and we had our photos taken that day. One, I was very humbled to have been, you know, even made it to state selection and very excited at that time. Um, you know, a country girl coming to the city as they say, there was a little bit of that. Back then we were all just little country girls, even when we were 18, we were not terribly worldly. So I you know, chose my outfit very carefully and my hat and thought I was a bit, a bit hot. <laughs> So the Southern Cross in those days was the hotel to be at. It was the place to stay. The dinner stood out, that was a really special night, the dinner at the Southern Cross. Yeah. It was huge, I mean, I think there was about 400 people there, a lot of people. Mm. I walked into this enormous area. I just thought, isn't this just beautiful? And there was plenty of champagne to drink on the toast. But my dad said, no. We laughed, we talked about the towns we were from. We were very supportive, strangely. I think, you know, sometimes you go into competitions and people can be quite competitive. I thought all the other girls were just so glamorous and worldly and here's little me. <laughs> Competition here at Royal Melbourne in 1990 did span over a course of three days. And during that time frame, you were always under scrutiny. It wasn't probably what I expected. I was expecting it to be a little bit more clinical, I think. Sit down and very structured. It was anything but. It was lively. It was fun. There was five different categories that we were actually judged on. 
I can remember being asked something about decentralisation. I had no idea what they were talking about, so I just babbled my way through it and I thought, oh, that's it, I'll never get anywhere here. Someone came up from the judging area and said, uh, you would have gone a lot further had you not worn your crystal beads. And I looked at her and she said, crystal beads are worn in the evening, not in the daytime. It was a competition and you needed to step up to the mark. I couldn't rock up in jeans like they do today. The judging was probably a lot on looks, the type of outfit you had on, the way you walked, but I know I was asked about where I worked and where I came from. I remember being asked the National Flower of Australia who the Prime Minister was. You know, there was a question about um, what was happening in the world. Well, I did ask you um, some agricultural based questions, so um, why you were at the show for starters. Times were changing then a little bit, it was, a, it was a little bit politically incorrect to judge women on purely looks. They would ask questions, uh, quite rural based questions, name some cattle or different breeds of cattle, what are their uses, what were they initially bred for. Each day you were provided with an agenda of items that you were required or requested to attend. So you think from um, sashing a gentleman in the woodshop area across to um, sashing champion cattle, as well as doing some fun things such as working with the hands-on butcher demonstration, making homemade sausages. Look, it was a lot of fun. The showgirls had their task and, um, and their jobs to do and I was very happy to do that. So I was the last of the Sun Country showgirls. They have of course developed into the Young Ambassador um, Award. With the name change has come a change in the judging and in the type of people that will now apply. It's more open. I think there was a place for the showgirls but then we needed to find a place from the males. And I think we've benefited from being able to have males in a competition at our shows. Winning the showgirl, that gave me a lot of confidence and I've kind of been able to be a good role model for my daughters and granddaughters and um, the students I teach and be a bit stylish, you know, that's for me. It was the people I met and the experiences that I had that I would never otherwise have had it gave me confidence to speak up about things that I would never have once done. When you're put on the spot and you're forced to think on your feet, it brings in a whole new skill set and I think if anybody's contemplating doing it, have a go, you can't go wrong. I look at photos, I smile, I look at uh, trophies and sashes and I think what a wonderful experience that was, absolutely. <laughs>